What's up, Kano? How's it going, dog? How you doing, dog? <laughs> Sent us to motherfucking Disneyland, huh? Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of bleeping in this one. Yeah, <laughs> brah. This place is crazy, man. It was way more cooler than what we were used to. They have like little numbers next to the parking spots. Yeah, yeah, there's like number there's desert there's 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 tent pads. There's like tent pads. Designated tent camping. And there's like two bathrooms on both sides. Yep. Not like not like two bathrooms, but two bathroom facilities. They even have a sink. You can wash your dishes. They even have your toilet paper that's not from your own pack. I know, it's crazy. It's like Guadalupe Mountains. There's I even mean, benches. Yeah, we're sitting on a bench right now. And it uh, you'll see in the video, there's like tons of RVs and cars. Like, this is like, I feel so safe. So we are here in the Guadalupe Mountains. Of course, the moon's out. There's RVs everywhere. Yeah, I know, we're in Disneyland. <laughs> but we'll be up there tomorrow. So, my question to you, Kano, is <laughs> after going on the Chiricahua Mountain Adventure with us, why the would you send us to Disneyland of uh, recreational parks? Yeah, man. There's like, we're going to be camping with like 12 people up there. I mean, that's how people die, bro. Yeah. We could just wake up and someone could have poured gasoline on my tent and set it on fire. That's a little crazy. That is a little crazy, but... All right, so I guess uh, <laughs> our interview would be that we are, uh, we're gonna hike to the peak and see how it is. I hear it's super easy to hike up there. Yeah, it's the, it's the tallest point in Texas. Yep. Other than the UT Tower, shout out to Austin, Texas. <laughs> the eyes of the tower are always upon you, like the eye of Sauron. You know, everywhere you go, it's just like. I already met two backpackers that are gonna be camping at the same, uh, primitive campsite up there that we are our goal is we just made a bunch of stickers so instead of making this try to seem intense when it's probably not gonna be an intense hike at all uh, we're just gonna promote ourselves so this is the promoting obscure terrain at the tallest point of the highest peak in Texas Hell yeah we're gonna go up to people tickle them with our charm and then tickle them with our stickers so uh, yeah, this is just gonna be an overnight deal. We slept in the truck last night because there is so many people at this campsite. There was nowhere to camp. So that's a bummer. But check this out. This is what you need with you everywhere you go. Zoom it in, Doc, so they can see. Here, turn it this way. Uh, right there. People question my wisdom, but it comes in handy. Read it backwards. Nintendo Switch. Shout out to Nintendo. You're always there for me, my entire life. Hook it up with the sponsorship, bruh. <laughs> we're not on the trail yet. We're in a vehicle sleeping because there's nowhere to camp because we're in Disneyland of trails. One cool thing that I saw last night was, I think it was a meteorite, not a shooting star because it was way bigger than a shooting star and I saw flames on the end of the little thing before it disappeared. Yeah. So, and that looked like it fell somewhere down that way. So that was pretty cool. I never seen a me plenty of shooting stars, but no meteorites. Actually, that's a lie. I did see a meteorite storm with a, a close friend of mine once. It's a good story. Yep, absolutely irrelevant. Make sure you edit that out. What else they have here? They got trash cans. Yeah. Um, they got fences. They even got toilets, so you don't have to carry your poop in a sack. So overview of this uh, hike. So this is considered a hard trail, even though it's not very far. There's a monument at the top of the peak. All right, so the mileage is 8.4 miles round, round trip. trip. That's up and back. So we're pretty much safe because the both of us can run eight miles in less than an hour. 
So yeah. if all else fails, we just take our packs up and run down the hill like little scared kids. Yeah, which I doubt, you know. I mean, come on. Check it out. I'm not even taking a spear. I'm it's taking... It's taking a stick. It's taking a stick. You see that? It's a yucca stick. Ever since I heard about that cougar getting choked out, I'm not taking a spear. Uh, I'll choke up all cougars. So, anyways... <laughs> so, anyways... Right. Tell us. Tell us. Where do you want to see Obscure Terrain go? Leave, the, leave your uh, comment down below. You better not be sending us to Disneyland either. <laughs> Kano. Kano, I did pick this because of you. I remember I was going to go to the Guadalupe Mountains and pick some other trail that was like a loop trail. But you said there's a highest point in Texas and I never knew that. So I was like, yeah, I'm down for that. I should have looked on the internet about it and saw how popular it was. Because I would have went the other direction. <laughs> what I'd like to say is I knew there was a highest point in Texas. I just didn't know where it was. Because there's a highest point everywhere. Later, guys.